Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here. And today I want to talk to you guys about Grindhouse Releasing's newest Blu-ray release. This for the early 80s slasher classic. And that's a word that gets thrown around a lot and is oftentimes misused. But in the case of this film, I don't think the word classic does it enough justice. I'm talking about Juan Picard Simone's pieces. And now this is not going to be a review of the film. I did a full review of the film a few weeks ago for my series File 13, so I'll put a link around here somewhere to that video. Go check it out for a full review of this film. Today I just want to talk about the Blu-ray, the extras, the picture quality, the sound quality, um, all the accoutrements included with this release from the fine folks over at Grindhouse. So without further ado, let's go ahead, let's dive in. Let's first, let's just take a look at that cover art there. Absolutely beautiful. The chainsaw, it's it's raised. It's got a nice feel to it. The lady down here uh, is also raised. Her little blood, uh, <laughs> her blood, her pool of blood beneath her is also raised. On the back here, this is, uh, this is raised up as well. Nice box here, raised lettering here for pieces on the top. Uh, on the side, on the spine, and on the bottom. Um, just a, a gorgeous presentation here for this film. Gorgeous presentation. Open it up. Here we have got the original score for the movie by Stelvio Cipriani, Carlo Maria Cordio, and Fabio Fritzi. I was driving around yesterday listening to this in the car. I've been humming this score ever since i love the score to pieces love love the score to pieces and it sounds great on this cd so that's a really nice little little added bonus uh if you picked up this uh this edition uh we've got blu-ray inside here this is the um original poster art there um won't show you the back because there's a little bit of nudity, nudity on the back Inside we have got um, some liner notes, a nice little write-up here by uh, Chaz Balin and uh, Rick Sullivan just talking about the film. Um, no, can't really show you, can show you this picture, show you that part, <laughs> can't show you the other page. A little bit of nudity there, some nudity on that one, so I can show you one page out of the liner notes. Um, but the presentation for this release is beautiful. Beautiful presentation. Um, love the soundtrack, the added soundtrack. Great little addition there. Um, let's talk about the picture and the sound quality. And oh boy, if you are familiar with um, the Diamond DVD release of this film, which I owned many, many, many years ago, that was how I actually first came across pieces. Um, I think that was pretty much just like a, D, a, a, a VHS rip, <laughs> pretty much. And it looked pretty bad. Uh, the Grindhouse DVD release that came out a few years ago was definitely a big step up from the Diamond release. The picture quality on this Blu-ray, which it is a 4K scan of the original camera negative, it looks amazing. This movie looks amazing in Blu-ray. I found myself watching the movie more than actually watching the movie. Like there was just so many details and little things that I hadn't noticed before. And this is a movie I've seen many, many times. Just the little details, little things here and there that just jumped out at me that I had never noticed before. Um, the, the, the colors look great. Um, there are sequences um, that look like they were shot, I mean, yesterday. Um, Grindhouse did a phenomenal job making this movie look as good as it does on this disc. I was blown away. This movie looks phenomenal. My hat's off to Grindhouse for getting this movie to look as good as it did on this Blu-ray. Like I said, I watched the movie more than I actually watched the movie. I was like focusing on all these little things on the periphery and just excellent Excellent picture quality. Uh, the audio quality on here, it is, um, I wrote it down, 2.0 DTS HD Master Audio. It sounds fantastic. It looks phenomenal. Um, if I was Italian, I'd go, 
Um, it just, the picture quality is phenomenal on this disc. This is probably the best pieces will ever look, and it looks really friggin' good. Um, that alone <laughs> is worth the price of admission for this Blu-ray. The picture quality and the sound quality alone make this worth a pickup. If you are a fan of pieces, you've never seen it look so good. Great, great picture and great sound quality. Uh, as far as the rest of the extras on this disc, of course, as you know, I take notes because that's what I do for you guys. Um, the, uh, the cherry on this bloody Sunday, on this great release, is a feature-length documentary called 42nd Street Memories. It's got interviews with William Lustig, Tom Holland, Frank Kennenlauter, Joe Dante, Larry Cohen, Lloyd Kaufman, Jeff Lieberman, uh, 42nd Street Pete, Debbie Roshan, Lynn Lowry. Um, they just talk about the rise and fall of 42nd Street, which was really the birth of, you know, the ground zero for Grindhouse movies. They talk about in the beginning that, you know, it was legitimate, you know, theater. It was home to the Ziegfeld Follies and John Barrymore and then you know, as they moved into World War II, it became, you know, they started playing movies, and then by the late 70s, it was just pure grindhouse streets teeming with hustlers, prostitutes, drugs, crime. Um, I mean, the way they described it, I could almost smell uh, the urine in the air, the stale urine. I could almost smell it. They, they, they described it with such, <laughs> with such beautiful detail. Um, my favorite quote um, I forget the gentleman who said it, and I'm paraphrasing here, but basically he said, you know, 42nd Street, it's been romanticized a lot, but let me tell you at the time, there was nothing romantic about it. There was nothing romantic going on on 42nd Street back in the day. Um, they talk about how, you know, uh, the AIDS and the crack ep epidemic really sort of, you know, started the downward spiral of it go going downhill, and now pretty much Disney owns it. So, <laughs> but really, really fascinating, really informative hour and 22 minute documentary about 42nd Street. Lots of great interviews. Just, you know, really, really fascinating documentary. Again, um, like I said, the cherry on top of the bloody Sunday of this release. So really, really like that documentary. Um, we've got uh, some interviews on this disc. We've got a three minute, um, like, audio interview with Steve Manasian, who is one of the infamous Boston guys who financed Friday the 13th. He also produced, of course, pieces. He produced uh, Don't Open Till Christmas and Slaughter High. It's only about three minutes. He just talks specifically about pieces, but oh my goodness, I would love to hear the full audio <laughs> of this um, of this interview, hearing him talk about, you know, Friday the 13th specifically and, and the other movies and you know, I mean, I think that would be really, really interesting. I hope that full interview surfaces someday because I would love, love to check it out in its entirety. Um, we've got a um, couple of interviews that were uh, that are ports from the old Grindhouse DVD, but they're really great interviews. We have got about an hour-long interview with Paul Smith, of course, who played Willard in pieces, the reddest herring of all red herrings. Um, and this is a guy who worked with people like Alan Parker, David Lynch, Robin Williams, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sam Raimi, Gene Wilder, Harrison Ford. This guy had a very, very lengthy career and he goes into pretty good detail about all of those movies and just his experience working with those actors. Really, really fascinating interview with him. He comes off as just a really, really nice um, guy, of course, he's uh, unfortunately passed on, but um, great, great interview with him. We've also got a 55-minute interview with the director of pieces, Juan Piquet Simone, who is also unfortunately passed on. Uh, he just discusses how he got into filmmaking, what his uh, inspirations were, and of course, he talks a lot about uh, about pieces, but also about some of his other films like Slugs, which if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know I uh, love me some Slugs. Really great interview with him. Like I said, 55 minutes long, so a lot of uh, a lot of in-depth stuff in this interview with the late Mr. Simone. Um, we've got bios and filmographies on this disc. We've got previews of upcoming 
which is previews of Grindhouse releases. We've got an extensive gallery of stills and poster art. We've got a theatrical trailer. Um, we've also got, uh, which this is really uh, uh, entertaining to listen to, the Vine Theater Experience, which basically they did a screening of the film back in 2002 at Hollywood's Vine Theater. And basically you can play this audio track with the movie and it's like you're just watching the movie with this wild, raucous <laughs> uh, crowd of people who are just cracking up and having a great time watching this movie. That's a really nice little added feature as well. Uh, it's a poured over uh, from the um, DVD as well. Uh, we have a music be uh, music rescore by Umberto, basically. Um, I believe this was the original score for the film, if I'm not mistaken. And basically it just plays over the movie. You just listen to the music over the movie. No, no audio from the movie, just that music uh, over the film, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got an audio commentary with Star Jack, with Star Jack Taylor moderated by Callum Waddle. I watched about 30, 40 minutes of the movie with the commentary. Jack Taylor is a really, seems to seem like a really cool guy. Um, Caleb Waddle's asking him like really serious questions about the film. And Jack Taylor's like, dude, come on, it's pieces. You know, <laughs> it's like, you can't be too, you can't take this movie too seriously. So that was really cool, I thought. Nice little auto commentary there. I'll probably, I'll go back and watch uh, the rest of the film with the auto commentary. But the 35, 40 minutes that I did watch were, were pretty entertaining. Um, as I said, 4K transfer of original camera negative, 2.0 DTS HD master audio. We have got two versions of the film on this edition. We've got the original unrated American cut and the original uncensored director's cut, which is three minutes longer. Um, we've got Easter eggs on the disc as well. I only found one. I don't know how many uh, are on this. I found one which was uh, like a little um, like backstage kind of thing with Wampy Care Simone where he wishes people, uh, everybody, a, a happy uh, or Merry Christmas. He, he, although he says calls it a, a happy Christmas, um, which, is, uh, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much... Um, this edition and like I said if you're a fan of pieces go out and pick this edition up it is an A plus audio quality picture quality are phenomenal great extras the 42nd Street documentary fantastic um, the Vine Theater experience is really is really entertaining um, the interviews with with Paul Smith and Wampi Care Simone great in depth this is a phenomenal release from the folks over at Grindhouse Releasing. Um, I do think I should, th there's been a little bit of a controversy um, around this release that I was made aware of. Uh, the day after the, this release came out, uh, two people messaged me on Facebook and they both pretty much had the same, said the same thing. So I'll, I'll kind of paraphrase but for both of them, but they were basically like, hey, did you get your uh, Blu-ray of pieces? Was did you get a puzzle inside of it? I pre-ordered when it was first announced and I didn't get a puzzle and I'm pissed off. They've ripped me off. They they said that if I ordered before such and such a date, I was guaranteed a puzzle. I'm talking about the puzzle from the movie, the, the naked woman that the kid's putting together at the beginning of the film and that the killer puts together throughout the movie. <clears throat> and I did a little sleuthing and I found that some people were saying that they got the puzzle edition they just went, one guy said he just went to the mall and picked it up. One guy said he went to Barnes and Noble and got the puzzle edition. Um, <clears throat> I went to, um, uh, I think it was Diabolic DVD's uh, Facebook page. There's a, a, a big, big thread about it. Uh, there was a video, basically. Um, I, I didn't see the video, but um, it's since been removed. I don't know if it was removed for slander, but it, it was somebody really, really upset that they didn't get the puzzle in this and they were calling uh, Grindhouse or Diabolic DVD or whoever um, thieves. Um, I don't really see anything shady on Diabolic DVD or uh, Grindhouse releasings end. I mean, if they did guarantee that if you pre-ordered it by such and such a date that you would get the puzzle, um, then, I mean, that's a little strange. I don't know if they made that guarantee or not. Um, but I don't really see anything shady on their part. However, um, CAV Distribution, CAV Distribution, which is a Blu-ray DVD distribution and replication company, 
I think they were involved in the replication of this edition. Um, apparently they were at one point and may still be um, selling the uh, puzzle editions of these on eBay for like $80 a pop. So they somehow hoarded um, a bunch of, um, of these editions and they're selling them marked up <laughs> um, quite a bit. Um, under a different name, under a different eBay username, but when you pay for them through PayPal, or when you pay for this through PayPal, you're paying CAV distribution. Um, I read several people saying that. If that, in fact, is the case, that's kind of shady, I guess, that they're, they hoarded a bunch of these, and now they're selling them on eBay for 80 bucks a pop um, with the puzzle. Um so if there's anything shady going on, it's it's something going on with CEB distribution, and I don't know that for sure. Um, I didn't really even want to bring up the controversy. It's it's Puzzlegate 2016, but I felt like I'd be remiss if I didn't because I had a couple of people ask me about it, and I know it's it's kind of turned into a big deal for me. It's I mean really it's much ado about nothing. I didn't get the puzzle. Sure, I, it would have been cool to get the puzzle um, as you know as a collector and just you know digging stuff like that. Um, it would have been cool, but you know, I will go on. <laughs> I will, I will move on past uh, this, and um, I'll be fine. It seems like much ado about nothing, but um, I don't see any shadiness going on on the part of Diabolic DVD or on Grindhouse Releasing's end. Um, like I said, Grindhouse Releasing, this is a phenomenal release the picture quality the sound quality are phenomenal the extras are great if you're a fan of pieces this is the way to go go out pick it up and add it to your collection um this is the best pieces is ever going to look um love the packaging <clears throat> love that you get the soundtrack cd as well and um yeah it's just um it's uh <clears throat> it's really cool you should go pick it up. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you bought this edition, please let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys take care. And until next time, peace.